guys, what's up? It's Noites Vlog here. Today again, I have a good news for you. And our topic is all about the International Skilled Worker, Occupation in Demand. Please stay tuned until the end of this video. If you're new in my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified of a new video uploaded on my channel. Let's get started. This subcategory for a skilled workers, listen to this guys, who don't have a job offer in Saskatchewan, but you are a highly skilled in an in-demand occupation. Meet the criteria. The criteria can change at any time, but we will use what was on this website and when we first got your application. What is the eligibility? To be eligible, you must pay a non-refundable of $350 Canadian application fee online by Visa or MasterCard. It is the last step in order to submit your application. You may qualify if you live outside of Canada or have a proof of legal status in Canada are not a refugee claimant. The score of minimum of 60 points out of 100 on the SINP points assessment grid. Have a language score, at least four Canadian language benchmark CLB. Have a complete post-secondary education, like training and apprenticeship that comparable to Canada. Have an earn a diploma, certificate, and a degree. For education outside of Canada, you must submit an education credential assessment, the ECA. For a designated organization, the individual who have a completed trades or job training as part of their high school education must instead apply for Saskatchewan licensure. Have a work experience that is high skilled and not on the in-demand occupation list and see the occupation in demand and express entry occupation requirement. I will put this list and the requirements on the description box and for more information. Work experience must be related to your occupation and education. You may need to prove your proof of professional status or an eligibility for a licensure. Have a proof of settlement funds and a settlement plan. Guys, please check my channel. I have lots of videos here that maybe it helps you and give you an idea on how to apply to Canada and also an inspirational stories for our Filipinos here in Canada. To apply this subcategory, you must submit an expression of interest. The EOI candidates that are eligible will receive an invitation to submit an application. The points score and associated with an EOI profile will determine a likelihood of receiving an invitation. Look guys, those high score within the pool of candidates will have a greater chances of being invited to apply. What is an international skilled worker expression of interest? The EOI. The International Skilled Worker EOI is not an application to SINP. An International Skilled Worker EOI is a pre-application process which allow the candidates to fill out the form to indicate higher interest in applying to SINP. For more information, please visit the International Skilled Worker EOI system on the description box below. Not all candidates who submitted the International Skilled Worker EOI will be invited to apply to the SINP. There are no limits on the number of candidates who can submit an EOI. Candidates can only have one EOI per profile. You can apply through international skilled worker category occupation in demand. If you are refugee claimant in Canada, claiming refugee status from the government of Canada cannot apply. Assessment rating. You must score a minimum of 60 points out of 100 points on the point assessment grid to be considered for nomination. For more information, check on the description box below. You are awarded points on the five basic factors. One would be the education and training. Second is the skilled work experience. The third one is the language ability. The fourth one is your age. And the fifth one is the connection to the Saskatchewan job market and family. You must attach the documents to support the eligibility criteria and points factor 
For example, if you claim a 20 points on having a university degree, you must attach a copy of university degree and complete transcripts. If the degree is printed in a language other than English and French, you must attach or translated version. If you are not yet subscribing my channel, please, uh, I hope you consider subscribing my channel. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I have a new videos uploaded on my channel. How to apply? After you receive an invitation to apply through the Express of Interest system, follow the guidelines for the application process, complete scan, and submit all the requirements document. Refer to the SINP, important words and definition to understand what is needed. Applications submitted with a missing documents or are not translated will be closed. If your application is closed, you will be sent a letter asked to reapply. Take note on this, guys. If you are successful of receiving a nomination from the SINP, the IRCC will process application in six months or less. Apply online to the SINP. This is what you're going to do. Create an account. Complete the different sector. Scan and upload your completed forms and supporting documents in PDF format. Keep the originals for your records. Save and submit your application. So shout out to those people who click the join button. If you want to be shout out on my channel, please don't forget to click the join button. So that's all about it, guys. If you have any question or suggestion, please do comment below. And also, you can share these videos to your friends and relatives that are planning to apply to Canada. This is Noitebs. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless everyone.